Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. And you're looking live at Siesta Key Beach. Today is February 21st, 2019. Water's looking fantastic. And I see Rosie's here. I sent you an invitation, Rosie. Join me. Did you get the invitation? I just sent it again. Try it a third time. There it goes. It says connecting right now. There. there go. Hello, can you hear me? Guys hello, hello. Some, yeah, there you are. Hey, Rosie. All right. Say hi to everybody. Everybody, this is Rosie Neal. If hello. You, if you don't know oh, her, hello. I should have wore my. Uh, I should have wore my headphones. As a matter of fact, they're back here. I'll go get them. I should have get mine on too. Oh, that's okay. I can. I can still. <laughs> me too. But I have to hold the phone really close to my face, so I'm not going to have it on me <laughs> while I'm uh, walking. But everyone joining me in. too uh, Rosie and I are going to be talking about these concentric rings of energy that are coming in from our Sun and it's really fascinating because a couple weeks ago I was walking the beach and it was somewhere down there um, around the by the by the bend on Crescent Beach here on Siesta Key and I sat down to, to meditate, and I got this vision. And what I saw were these concentric rings of light coming from the sun, and they were pulsating. They were just coming and coming and coming, you know, ring after ring. So when I got back to where my chair was, I, I mentioned that to the person I was with, and that's the only other person that knows about what I saw in that vision, but that's my one witness that I have. So, yesterday, I'm on the beach, and I'm doing a beach report, and while I'm on my beach report, Rosie's calling me. <laughs> And uh, if you didn't realize, um, apparently she didn't get the notification like many people when I go live um, because of shadow banning. <laughs> A lot of people aren't aware that I'm even going live. But uh, after I got done with my walk, I called Rosie and we had a little conversation. So Rosie, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Why don't you... Okay, when I called you yesterday, you had no idea that I had already talked about those concentric rings of energy coming from the sun, correct? No, actually. Actually, our conversation had nothing to do with any of that. Initially, it didn't. No. Yeah, initially, the whole purpose of our conversation was because I was feeling overwhelmed with hundreds of messages coming in, and I couldn't keep up 
with it. And then some of these messages, a great deal of them are giving me so much adoration, almost to the point of glorification. And I was frustrated and I needed someone to talk to. So I called you. Okay. So now let's, let's backtrack a little here. Uh, there was a, a healing session with thousands of healers that you organized. Tell us about that. So um, I was given a message that, um, that me and my partner, Janet Sanders, was going to be doing some work together on a planetary universal level. We do the work together in profit. No big deal. But at the post, the stream had to go public. And I was very, very hesitant about doing this because my husband's family um, is very religious, Baptist and his family, and I spoke to him about it, and he said, look, if God tells you to do something, you have to do it. So when he approved of it, I went ahead and uh, put it on Facebook, not knowing, I thought we'd get, I don't know, 25 people, 30 people, and healers, particularly what I requested. And I'm going to tell you, it went like wildfire on my own attention, actually. And uh, there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people around the world that set forth in private messenger where I was told they had to come to private messenger as a gathering point that was going to take place on February 16th. And the event was not only to work on a global planetary level, but it was healing for all humanity. So why don't you That's refresh the memories did, of and, uh, everyone listening? What happened on the Schumann Resonance that day? At, uh, the event took place. I was guided by SourceStream that the event had to take place for whatever reason, February 16th, precise at noon and precisely at a particular location. And it did. And exactly at noon, Schumann's frequency shot through. I believe it went up to 67 hertz. And it lasted exactly 24 hours in a complete white never been done in a recording. Yes, there was a, uh, a whiteout on the Schumann resonance. And it's, you know, it's a rare occurrence that you see things like that happen. Well, I think what it was is that there were healers strategically located around the world at, at every possible holy site that was available and many that I didn't even know existed. So you called me looking for advice and my advice was own it. <laughs> uh, His advice was <laughs> yeah. His advice to me was own it. So um, as yeah. we continued to talk, yeah, as we continued, and I agreed with him at that point because maybe that's what I need to do. Yes. Um, and I have difficulty with uh, receiving anyhow. But uh, we continued to talk when I wanted to tell him what happened to me a couple weeks ago. And it happened. I said, well, I was out behind my house in my yard, and I was doing some work with the dirt and a plant, and as I, for whatever reason, turned, gazed up the sun, it was pulsating, and I mean, it was pulsating really huge. It would expand out very large, and then it would suck back into normal size, and as it was doing this, at some point, I was so shocked by it, and I didn't have words to tell Greg what that wave was. But it was almost like a plasma wave came through me. And when it went through me, I literally knew in that moment everything had changed. That nothing was the same, but yet as I looked around at the plants in my house and my yard, everything still appeared to be the same. Now, what you were saying also is that 
everything will look similar as if nothing has changed, but it has, correct? Correct. That's exactly what it was. Well, that morning, um, before calling Greg, I got a message in through the source stream that um, everybody thinks that everything is the same. As they look around with their physical eyes on everything, it appears to be the same, but nothing is the same. Everything has changed. <laughs> so that's at the point where I said, Rosie, stop. <laughs> Uh, because I had just right before that finished up a Facebook live that she had called me in the middle of. And, uh, I told her what my vision was. Now, Rosie got this message two weeks ago, same time when I did. Certainly not a coincidence. Yep. No. I had no idea that you got it or if anybody else in the world has gotten it. Yeah, and that's a good point, too, is I'd like to put that out there right now uh, to anyone listening because so many times, you know, you think something is unique and happening to you, but it's happening to many of us right now. And uh, we're just the receivers. We're the first responders to a lot of the, these uh, anomalies. Um, it's kind of like, you know, hearing these high-pitched frequencies every day. Um, not everyone's going to hear them, but... Some of us do, and we report on them. I'm curious if there's anybody that's, that's listening right now, if you got that message anytime recently, specifically, maybe about two weeks ago. And I'm going to scroll back and take a peek at some of these messages. Katie is saying it's like the sky is pulsating. Linda saying you were the gateway for God. Laura's saying that she's been seeing diamond lights whirling. Wow. See, it's hard to read these things. Um, Deborah saying she had sparkles in her sleep. Bella. Did anybody? The, my daughter's the mom is saying. Expansion of the sun. I, I'm, I'm looking. My daughter's mom is saying I can feel that things have changed. I'm wondering how it will affect us. Do you have an answer? I don't. I know that there's going to be something else coming in, another huge, huge wave coming in um, the 23rd or the 24th of this month. But there's something going to, I mean, everybody will notice it. It's going to be noticed, but I can't tell you how. Huh. The 23rd or the 24th this month. Uh, where did you hear that from? Um, I, oh, I was given that back in December. It was in the, it was a, um, when I, it, when I was in December, after my masseuse massage, I got into the car and I was told by SourceStream that there was going to be an energy wave that comes to the planet in February. And I was given this exact date, but I can't recall the date, but it was the 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, in that range. Um, I called my friend. I was told to call my associate partner, Janet, and have her documented on the calendar as I was to document it. She documented it, but the date disappeared. For whatever reason, it disappeared. But I was exactly told that there will be an event that would take place something of February, that there will be an energy release to the planet that this planet has never, ever had before. Something completely new and different is coming. We'll have to wait and see. That I would be doing that event uh, on the 16th on a global scale. Okay, you're breaking up a little on my end. Um, is it, can everybody else hear Rosie okay?
Um, Laura's saying that yesterday during upgrades, she had phenomenal visions. I'll tell you something, uh, on my gathering, when we got together on the 16th, there were exactly 12 of us that were supposed to gather. Again, the number three. I am a three on a three life plan. I live at an address of 1212, which ends up being one plus two is three, three, 33. And we're in a three universal year. Now, I'm not sure how all that goes together, but I know that I'm all about the threes. But uh, 12 of us gathered on the 16th to do our work and to unify um, the field on a global level, to bring us all into oneness as one heartbeat in a coherent state. And when we did that, all of us had our eyes closed, but all of us got pretty much the same message. We were seeing waves of concentric circles, multidimensional color of orange, strong colors from deep orange to light orange, almost like sunrise. And then uh, above, there was a slight gold. And on the bottom, there were versions of multidimensional pink. But all 12 of us pretty much uh, got the same thing, even though we didn't know it at the time until after the ceremony. Now, it's funny you so I thought that was a little strange. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that, Rosie, because I was taking pictures um, outside my house today, and there's a strange anomaly of a orangish, reddish thing that was on my face with purple shooting out of it. I'll send you that picture. Wow. Uh, and there's several. I took like five or six pictures, and it's on every one of them. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and well, that's got something to do with energy that's coming in. Yeah, I think so, too. And uh, now, my Patreon people that subscribe uh, for the Afterthoughts, the 11, uh, 11 or higher, already put out a video earlier today explaining uh, what's going on. I've, I've, I was in this one uh, group. It's a small group on Facebook. And I'll mention the name when I come out with the article on n5d.com but there was a woman in this particular group who asked for me not to specifically mention her name but that I could use her picture and interesting after I showed uh, after uh, I got permission I showed that picture to Rosie and what you see in that picture is the Sun is behind her with these concentric circles coming in so that was the second confirmation I had, I know when I was telling Rosie about my vision, she said, oh, my God, I've got goosebumps. You know, those, those confirmation goosebumps that we get. And uh, just to have that um, picture was additional confirmation of what's going on with the sun. You know, I called it when I was telling you, explaining, trying to find the word of the, how do I describe it, a plasma wave, but it was the concentric circles of energy that came through me. And, um, and I'm not sure that's even what we're going to call it, but whatever label you use, it is exactly what you showed me in that yeah, picture. It's, yeah. And exactly. This morning, yeah. And this morning I, I was putting together a, a picture for the article and I found this great picture of the sun and I was able to find a PNG and kept, I kept enlarging it and doing some editing on it. But what it does is it shows the concentric circles come in, uh, coming from the sun and right towards us. I showed Rosie that picture earlier today too. Uh, so that article will be coming out soon. Um, I just wanted to get this done uh, so we could put it out there. At least there's a video right now. We have uh, several confirmations and I guarantee we're going to have m many more confirmations coming in from other people that have witnessed that or are experiencing that. So it's really exciting to see this in actual uh, pictures as well as getting confirmation from other people throughout the world. You know, you know I think it, uh, that phone call, you know, I called you because I didn't know how to deal with um, the over-the-top 
adoration uh, coming through on all these messages, and, and there are hundreds of them. It got to the point I don't even want to open anymore, and I really thought that's what our phone call was going to be about, but truthfully, I think that was just a, uh, what would you call it, uh, the trigger. It was a trigger to get you and I together to bring confirmation to what's happened the last couple of weeks and what will continue to happen. I agree. I agree. Uh, every, everything is divinely orchestrated. And uh, there, there was a reason why you had to call at, a, at that exact time while I was doing a live video. So I could actually say your name in yesterday's video to bring your name to the forefront and uh, to prepare everyone for what is coming. And, you know, you saw what, I've, what, what I saw and uh, we have additional confirmation on top of that. So it's really exciting. You can't yeah. physically see these waves unless you do have, catch it on camera or you do have that kind of vision, but it's happening right now. It's happening. That sun is pulsating. Right. Yes. Yes. And um, I, think, I think you're going to find out other people. I mean, I know it was a physical thing that happened, and anybody that looked up the sun would have seen it. So I'm thinking you're going to get confirmation on your show that there are many others that have seen exactly what we experienced. Yeah. It's exciting <laughs> to watch unfold. And as you mentioned, uh, you yeah. said that there's a, uh, another wave coming through sometime in the next maybe two or three days or so. So right. looking forward to that. Right. So, okay. Well, I think, um, yeah, I think it's all meant to be as it's supposed to be. And I think uh, even you and I getting together, I think, uh, for your show, to bring it forth to the audience so people can be more attuned and aware and open to receive. Sounds perfect. So... Awesome. All right, sweetie. Is there anything else you'd like to close? Have a fabulous day. Is there anything else you'd like to add no. to it? No. Have, well, no. Just infinite love. All right. From my heart to yours. All right. It's from mine to yours love as well, Rosie. Love you. Thank you for joining me. Love you too, sweetie. Right. Bye, bye bye. So, I'm not sure how to. There we go. So, so that, that's what we got uh, so far right now it's it's really exciting to see what's happening to get these confirmations uh to watch everything unfold the way it is and more than ever you know it's so important to get out there and ground and right now uh doing that but when i started i was walking from down there and uh here i am <laughs> but yeah get out and ground because so many people are becoming unhinged and it's so important now more than ever to get to get out there and to make that connection with the earth, put it out there. I'm gonna take a quick look at some of the comments. And if you have any questions, give it a shot. Yeah, Rosie Rosie's really cool. Her and I go way, way, way back. Uh, <laughs> many, many, many lifetimes. But we're gonna leave it off at that, I think. So, I wanna thank everyone for joining me. I wanna thank Rosie for coming aboard to explain what's happening uh, right now, energetically, with, with what's going on up there in the sun and these concentric rings that are pulsating and coming down and just ring after ring after ring. Um, it's happening right now. So, as I mentioned, get out, ground, stay grounded, try not to get unhinged, get out there no matter what the weather's like, and enjoy it. I'm going to leave it off at that. Until the next time, this is Greg Prescott from In5D.com and Zentasia.com, sending you all infinite love and light. Peace.